Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Today, I'm going to be changing out a butt cap. So, um, I've done this many, many times uh, on pro staffs because there's these sharp edges on the bottom of this racket and it drives a lot of people crazy and it gives a lot of people blisters in the palm. Um, so I'm not sure why they have these on pro staffs, but I mean, I change these out pretty commonly. People want the, the rounded off um, butt caps from the other lines, the other Wilson lines, which is one of those, right? So it's not as sharp, it won't dig into your palm as much, um, you know, just a better feel. Uh, Roger himself, as we saw, doesn't even use this himself. So I'm not understanding why they're continuing to do this on the pro staffs, but I'm gonna show you how to change that out to this today. All right, let's get started. All right, first thing is we have to take everything off. Take all the, take the grip off. So you're probably not gonna be able to save this grip. Uh, what do I do? Not, not too bad. This one's not horrible. Look, this person put lead here. Look, this person put lead here. So put a lot of lead here. Lead in the handle here. The guy should have just given it to me and I could have done a better job, but um, I had to remove all this. So uh, we'll figure that out later. <laughs> so you see there's staples here on the four sides. If you've ever taken one apart, you've seen it. Now, a plier's not going to give you a sharp enough edge to get these out. Uh, so what I'm going to do is, look, that one's the easiest one because it's still sticking out a bit. The, this one's a little more flushed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull, <clears throat> pull this one out first with um, a cutter, actually. Uh, so I'm going to actually grab it like that and then start kind of pulling it out. Let's see if it comes out easy. Yeah, this one's not bad. See, look, I grabbed it and I'm able to pull it out. Let's see if that one's going to be as easy. <clears throat> that one's probably not going to be as easy. That one's definitely not going to be easy. I was able to grab that, <clears throat> pull that out. Now this and this is going to be a little more difficult. Um, that's why I have the awl. I'm going to actually say, try to not put a hole through my table here. So I'm going to go like this on the outside first to see if I could get any leverage. If I can't, then I'm going to have to go inside just to get a little leverage, just to pop it out a bit. So. so now I pried it out a bit. Don't stab yourself like I did a few times doing this because it's going to freaking hurt. See there. Okay? That's a different way. Okay? Make sure this is sharp. Um, okay, so inside the thing. I'm aiming for in between the two, so right in the center of this when I jam it in there like this, like that. All right? And I jam it in there like that just to get some 
and then I push in towards the plastic and I torque out. See that? Got my all in. It just popped it out. It just shot at me. I don't know where it went. Well, it doesn't matter. All right, so that should do it. Comes out just like that. All right. Looks like there may have been some customization in this one too. I see silicone in that chamber right there. All right, so the next thing we do use, I, I don't want to, I can, before I start here, I can, if I want to, um, because I, I could just pop it back on like this and then get a staple gun and then pop it in. But I've, a, I've abandoned that idea 10 years ago because I could never get enough leverage to pop those in. And even when I did, it would stick out halfway and I would have to pound it down with a, with a hammer. And uh, that was not uh, good enough because it would still creak um, after I did it. So I just abandoned that after a while. Um, I don't know how the guys at the factory get those staples in there so tight. Um, I'm guessing a machine does it because um, I don't think a person has enough leverage or strength to, to get it in there with one hit. So um, I, I don't bother with it anymore. So anybody who comes in to me and says, my handle, my handle's creaking, my butt cap's creaking, this is how I fix it. Um, so I take the new butt cap, in this case, I get this stuff um, called five minute epoxy. Uh, the one, it, the package is a little different. The package is, uh, the name is DEFCON or DEVCON. Um, it actually says two ton epoxy. And you have to get the one with the two um, gel, gel dispenser thing, like this syringe here. Uh, so when you mix it, it's a, it makes it really strong. So it's two tons, meaning it's really, really strong uh, and, and really, really hard to, uh, to uh, you know, basically dislodge from the, the racket there. So what I do is I just squeeze out. I hit both. You see it both going in. There you go. That's about enough. So I, I, I sprayed about, or I, I oozed in about a good amount. Um, you don't want to overdo it. So maybe about half inches worth. As you see, I'm using my awl to mix it all. And uh, I'm spreading it as I'm mixing it all over to the walls. Right on the sides. Okay. You can, I mean, you can use whatever you have. I, I just use this all because I have this all here. All right, so next thing we do, line it up. It's going to squirt everywhere, so one, two, three. See, it, it's oozing out of the bottom. It's okay though. So down on it so it lines up with the, the cap. And getting a little bit of the excess out. Clean it up a bit on the bottom. So if you decide to do it this way, um, just note that you're not gonna be able to rip this out and replace it back. Because this is pretty permanent. Um, I have ripped it out before and people have dislodged this, but it's like one in a thousand that some, that I actually hand this to somebody and after three or six months of play that they actually loosen this. That's super, super rare. You'd have to be really, really strong uh, in order to, to undo what I'm doing here with this epoxy. So, uh, so the next thing we do is I hang it upside down, you know, for, I mean, I like to do it overnight just, just in case, but 
So I'm gonna leave it like that upside down and just wait. So it's actually been a, a few hours. Uh, this is actually like five minute epoxy, so it's dry. Um, sometimes you see it drip down here and that's okay. Like, look, there's a little bit drippage right there. That's okay. You kind of want it to drip down. So it, it, it'll actually hold on to, uh, to the sides a little better. Um, this trap door you can access. If you want to sh shove an all in there and open it up, it, it, you can do that. It, you just have to take a little bit of effort, but, but that hole's plugged up now. Um, but you, if you really wanted to access that trap door, you can shove it in there and access it. Uh, you're just gonna have to use a good amount of force. Um, so, look, I'm trying to pull this as much as I can. This is not moving, okay? So that's what I'm saying. Like, if you decide to do it this way, uh, just make sure you wanna keep it this way, okay? I mean, you can pry this out. I mean, this, this isn't a hundred percent permanent, but you, you can pry this out to do that. You just have to, you know, go like this, push it down, push it down. Right. Until it all kind of separates. Um, so, but pretty much this is going to be very permanent. All right. So it's time we can put the grip back on. I'm going to leave the lead off. I'll let, let the, the person deal with it. So I'm using, I'm just reusing the guy's grip. Um, just cause it looked pretty good. If it looked bad, I would have just changed it out. new there we go see no more edges nice and round no more blisters right feels good that feels great actually yeah okay that's how you do it so uh, two ton epoxy in the syringe this is like six bucks, six to eight bucks, depending on where you go. Home Depot, Lowe's, um, I get it at Ace. So, but yeah, anybody has this. Just make sure that it's the clear stuff. Um, and uh, it, it says two ton. There's like 1.5 ton too, and that works too. I just, I, I've just been used to using this for 10 years and, and I know this stuff holds, all right? Uh, make sure you have a nice sharp awl that's strong and then don't use a plier because you'll you'll never get it you have to use the cutter because that because these edges right are thinner you can get into the cracks and then pull it out like that all right so if you have any questions uh, this is just how I do it other people may do it different ways uh, I don't like to, the staple gun, I'm not strong enough to get the staple way in there. And uh, it cracks the, the cast foam anyway. So this is the way I found that was the best for what I need. All right. So if you have better ways, let me know. Um, if you have other suggestions as to what you want to see, let me know. I'm working on the customization one. I just got to get a couple things from the hardware store uh because i'm out so all right uh more videos on the way uh thank you for watching tennis spin where we put our spin on your tennis